Hello gang, welcome back. It is Captain Cowboy here with another account guide revised with the new the newest updates. So we already talked about in the first segment, we talked about non spenders due to the KVK strike and just trying to get Fun Plus to actually give in and help us out and stop making this game all about spending, which I hope will happen. Uh, a couple of friends of mine are talking currently to the United States um, ambassador for Fun Plus, and they're trying to, you know, see what they can do to help us and give us what we want. Because then again, we are their customers, we are their source of income. I hope they do listen, but we will see how that turns out. So, this is going to be um, a video on some middle tier spenders. Now, in my last video, I I did neglect to talk about guards, um, but I will touch up on that and for low tier spenders as well as non-spenders it is going to be the same. If you're not spending you're not buying any of the premium guards, but more on that here in a minute. So first let's go ahead and talk about equipment. Non-spenders I said you should go for Demon Hunter coat. Um, start going for that full set. Now if you are a semi-spender there, you really have two options because you're not going to be dropping a couple thousand dollars to get full Sun King. Um, and Sun King really won't give you a benefit over Demon Hunter or Retribution until you're like plus two, plus three. So I highly recommend that if you're spending, you're getting that Demon Hunter plus five set. Now I already talked in the last video about how to get that. It's going to take four of the special gemstones, which are 12,800 gold each. That's going to take um, getting the scrolls but you can buy the retribution chests in order to attain this um that will be your best bet most likely over getting a sun king chests um and you probably by the time you already have all the scrolls you probably won't have to pay at all to get the um special gems because you'll either have them from the fragments you receive in the chests or you will have them from the gold that came along with your purchases so this should be a relatively cheap um, fashion per se in regards to what Fun Plus offers in terms of giving you giving them all of your own money. Um, so if you, I highly recommend that you go ahead and you look to enhance it to plus five, get those benefits. You might be it'll be about thirty percent stats off of a full retribution plus five set. However, it'll be a much cheaper investment on your end. That's why I still have Demon Hunter plus five and there were a lot of bigs who were you know conscientious about spending who were C-35s um, not trying to go to the C-40 level and they also did the same. Now when it comes over to airship again you want to be in that 50 range but now if you're going to be spending I highly recommend you get around level 60 airship and now I want your airship parts to be looking towards orange and gold it's going to be a cheaper investment than buying all the platinum because platinum's two hundred dollars each so we're looking at two hundred four hundred six hundred eight hundred a thousand you get the idea there it is not really worth it and yes uh... red guard bonus chests will give you six to eight rare fragments a day then spirit mines will give you eight chests after floor ten and then farm accounts and you can send sixteen chests a day you need two accounts to do that, so you get a total of 32 chests a day. That is awesome. Um, you need 400 rare chest fragments in order to get one piece of Demon Hunter. So, yeah, thank you, Ty. That, going back to the equipment, you can easily get this without spending very much. But if you do spend a little bit, if you do coin up a little bit, things will happen a little quicker. This is for low-tier spenders. Um because everyone is slowing down on their rate of spending across the board. If you are still a high spender, you really don't care about what you're spending or what you're spending it on because you're going to have the latest and greatest. But as far as airship abilities and airship parts go, start working towards what I'm looking at here. Now granted you might not be at such the same level, but everything's getting cheaper. Everything that I paid thousands of dollars for will come to you for a much cheaper price. So start working towards what I'm having going on here. If you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. But 
aquatic homes to your coat of arms. Go ahead, start filling this out. Start working towards purple. Um, it will be a very cheap investment. It might take some money to help boosting it along, getting some upgrades going, maybe getting up to like level three of your coat of arms. Don't pour a whole lot of money in your coat of arms. It's going to give you a benefit, not as much as your airship will, though. So I'll prioritize your airship. That's why I'm giving this, putting this second. But it will give you benefits. Another place to get some benefits is going to be your curiosities. You can buy these for fairly cheap. It will take money. So yes, you do need to put money into this. But um, the abilities that you will get from this are going to give you a very nice addition to your stats. So it's not going to be high stats. It's not going to be a very expensive investment. Put in what you believe you can afford into this. You're going to be buying the pack, so it's pretty much just, hey, I want one of these, so let's go ahead and get more. It'll put me in the right direction that I'm going to be utilizing copper in order to upgrade my curiosities as well as the essence and just start you know slowly grinding away on it you know I would think for a high level spender someone who's gonna be getting you know um demon hunter or above might wanna put about two hundred dollars into each of these topics now take your time with it don't put two hundred dollars immediately into one topic while neglecting another spread your money out so let's say you're gonna spend two hundred dollars this month for example, this might not be the type of spender you are, but let's just say, for example, I would go ahead and I would split up evenly between my coat of arms, my airship parts, my curiosities, and um, my equipment. I don't know what I am doing right now. Okay, um, so yeah, go ahead, spread out your money, and go from there. Now with uh we talked about coat of arms, we talked about our curiosities, catacombs, again, complete the catacombs, go as far as possible. Utilize all of your free benefits that you can do on a daily basis to help grind it out. If you have time for farms, they will go a long, long way for you. And when we get to our guards, we might start being able to talk about getting some premium guards. However, what I highly recommend and urge you do instead is start looking towards getting some purple guards. Get your purple guards and start working on upgrading them. There are plenty of great ways to upgrade your guards, and you can do this through your farms, you can do this through um, the free daily ways, and this will help you build up some of your stats. Um, in addition to all of these items listed above, you know, it's just taking time, spending what you can, and the, you know writing out a plan make a plan for yourself I do offer account guides I can go one on one look at your needs look at what you can afford look at what you want to do where you want to be with your account and help you make a plan to further your account kinda rush through all of this on this one but take advantage of every benefit that you can we have like the time lord targets we have the lucky draw going on right now gives you some pretty decent benefits of actually going ahead and doing this. Um, so I highly urge that if you're going to be going ahead and spending some money, spread it out. Put it where the stats will help you the most. And if you think you can spend a little more than $200 on just your airship parts alone, reconsider what you're actually benefiting from, what you're actually going to be getting, and what a little more of that money could do if you spent that elsewhere on somewhere that you're lacking. Take a look at your stats before every upgrade. Figure out what should I put more of my effort into. Let's say I have a specific stat lacking. So let's say my distance attack right here is lacking. These always give me the weirdest stats. That, those are not my stats, but I guess I will take them. So go ahead and okay I'm really slacking on my distance attack I want to go ahead and upgrade that so when I go through my airship parts or when I go through my coat of arms or when I go through my curiosities I'm going to be putting a little more effort and attention into my distance attack so this is cavalry that is infantry 
so we would go ahead and put our distance attack in here. Granted, I focused a lot more on my cavalry and a little bit on my infantry and very little on my troop attack as I did my distance. And now because of that, now my distance attack has fallen behind. So that's something I want to go ahead and focus on next. Thank you all for watching the low tier spender video of Guns of Glory. If you ever have any questions, if you feel like I made any mistakes, don't hesitate to ask me for clarification or to correct uh, some information that I may have wrongfully put into place. Also, don't forget to get involved in the 3,000 subscriber giveaway. Plenty of time still left to get into it. Get your friends to subscribe. Let's go ahead and hit 3,200 and get $80 more giveaways to four more winners out there. This is Cowboy. Thank you for watching.